Vietnam is a land of motorbikes. There are over 40 million motorbikes in Vietnam. So if you're looking to move here, are you looking to buy a car or buy a motorbike? What are the registration fees or process and whether you can get a driver's license or an international license? And of course, the last thing is, what is the cost of buying a car or motorbike in Vietnam? If these are questions that you have, this is the video for you. So today we're gonna cover all of those topics and more. So make sure you tune in and continue to watch this video. Hello, my name is Ken Jung. If you're new to this video, I have over 13 years of experience helping expats and international folks and also Vietnamese to get citizenships all over the world, live and retire, such as Grenada, Portugal, United States, Greece, and many other countries. But before I get into this video today, if you like our videos, make sure that you like our Facebook page, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and comment below about what else you want to hear on our channel. So today's topic is can you buy vehicles in Vietnam and how? So the first thing you need to understand is as a foreigner, you cannot put your name on the actual registration of the car or the motorbike. However, there's always a work around that. If you have a local friend, someone you trust, or you open a local Vietnamese company, these entities or individuals can hold title to the car or motorbike for you. However, foreigners, you cannot get loans to buy cars in Vietnam. Thus, you're going to have to ask that local person as well. And it could be your partner or spouse. Make sure that you notice one big, big issue is buying a car in Vietnam is much different than, let's say, buying in the United States. For example, in the U.S., sometimes the down payment can be just 1%. I've bought cars in the U.S. for just $3,000. I came in the dealership, got the car, and then just left. Here in Vietnam, it's different. You actually have to deposit 30% down on a car. So say for example, you buy a $30,000 car, you have to, have to deposit $9,000. And of course the interest rates are higher because it's a consumer non-collateralized loan. So you gotta take those into consideration if you're looking to buy a car or a motorbike in Vietnam. But before we get into driving and scooting around Vietnam, we wanna give you a one long-term option that you can stay in Vietnam and also possibly hold title to your vehicle. So we do have a long-term solution for you that has many benefits, and that is getting the Vietnam passport. And then after that, your national ID. With those three documents, you can hold title to your vehicles and also land. So make sure you contact our team of legal experts to help you get those documents in order to hold title to your vehicles. So another option for you to hold title in Vietnam is forming companies. So we have our team that can help you form a Vietnamese company in Vietnam, either as a foreign company or as a local company if you have a nominee with you. So with that company, you can actually hold title to the vehicle itself, either the motorbike or the car. That's another great option for you. Okay, so how do you get a driver's license in Vietnam? So that's the main topic we're talking about today. So the first thing is you have to do a theoretical test, but unfortunately the exam is in all Vietnamese. But just to let you know, the examination is a national exam administered a few times per year. It consists of 25 multiple choice questions and you have to answer correctly 21 of those 25 questions in order to pass the written portion of the exam. Then the second portion is the actual driving or hand taper of the vehicle to pass that and we'll give you those specific requirements as well. Foreigners can contact any of the department's driver training institutions they trust or are recommended to apply for admission and take the Vietnamese driving test. The fee for issuing a license for a foreigner is similar to that of a local person. For the theory exam, a two-wheel motorcycle license will cost 40,000 VND per exam and car license 90,000 VND per exam. The behind the wheel test for a two-wheel motorcycle license will cost 50,000 per exam and a car license will be 300,000 per exam. If you already have an international driver's license in another country that is recognized in Vietnam, then you can actually convert your international license to the Vietnamese license if it meets the three requirements below. Number one, you have to have lived, resided in Vietnam for at least three months. Number two is your driver's license internationally is the validity period. There are no tears. It can be verified and it's a legitimate driver's license and you can use it here. And the third one is that you do not have a temporary international license 
or driver's license. It has to be a permanent one that is usually five to 10 years in period of validity. The term of use of Vietnamese driving licenses exchange for foreigners must be in accordance with the period indicated on the entry visa or temporary residence card, being consistent with the expiry date of the foreign driving license, but not exceeding the prescribed period of the Vietnamese driving license. There are also procedures for changing driving license for foreigners. You will need to have an application form for changing a driver's license, official translated and notarized your foreign driving licenses to Vietnamese, a copy of passport including the page of visa to enter Vietnam, a copy of a residence card, temporary residence card, permanent residence card, or document certifying residence in Vietnam. So the third way is if you have a valid international driver's license and you convert it into your Vietnamese driver's license. So before, Vietnam used to recognize the IDP, which is an international driver's permit that is recognized in the many countries in the world. However, most recently, Vietnam law does not recognize the IDP as a valid driver's license. Thus, there's another one called the IAA, which is the International Automobile Association that allows for driving internationally. So you gotta make sure you have the IAA and not the IDP in order to drive in Vietnam. Another thing you need to notice is that the driver's license in Vietnam and also abroad is usually for four wheels. The majority of foreigners in developed countries only have a license for four wheels, which is a sedan or automobile. But in Vietnam, the, many of them will actually drive motorbikes, which is two wheels. So you have to make sure that you have a four wheel and two wheel license abroad and then convert it to a four and two wheel license in Vietnam so that you can legally drive both a four wheel and a two wheel motorbike. Now that you know the process and procedures buying a car or, or motorbike in Vietnam, where should you buy these cars or motorbike? What we recommend is an authorized dealership by Honda, Toyota, Mercedes, BMW, or one of the other companies. And finally, I want to talk about the cost of buying a car or motorbike in Vietnam. So first, I want to start with cars. The options have opened up tremendously in the last few years due to manufacturing in Vietnam, such as Kia or Hyundai or Toyota, and then also assembly of the more the luxury cars, such as Mercedes, BMWs. And of course, you have the supercars as well. So from a global market standpoint, you can get a Tata Nano for about 120 million VND, roughly about 5,000 US dollars. Or you can even buy a Rolls Royce that goes up to 40 billion VND or about 2 million US dollars. If you look at kind of lower to mid range costs, you're looking at roughly about 500 million up to 1.2 billion. If you're looking at the mid range of luxury sedans, then you're looking between 1.2 billion up to about 3 billion. And then if you look at the more luxury end of Lexus, Mercedes, BMW, Audis, and Volvos, you're looking at between 1.8 billion up to about 6 billion VND. And then of course, if you're talking about the super luxury cars such as McLaren, Ferraris, Lamborghinis, Bentleys, and Rolls Royce, then you're looking at a much higher, all the way up to 60 billion or $3 million for some of these cars in Vietnam because they are double tax or triple tax depending on the type of car that you're importing. So, I mean, you really got to research if you're looking to get a car in Vietnam. And honestly, Vietnam is still a motorbike nation. So as you can see behind me, there are many motorbikes. We're here on Wing Way Street in District 1, but every single one of the districts has a ton of motorbikes. And they will range in different pricing. Usually it's 100 to 125 cc's is a common motorbike used in Vietnam. And they'll range in price based on brand, quality, also the age of the bike as well. And most of the people will buy new motorbikes, not used ones. The number one company is Honda that has over 70% of the market share. And even in the past, the motorbike was called a Honda. So if you have a Honda, you have a motorbike. So it's synonymous with having a motorbike. One simple example is the Honda Wave 100cc is roughly about 700 US dollars to get that particular bike. But if you buy a new motorbike, the current lowest scooter is SYM50cc for about 14.5 million dong. And the most expensive is the Honda SH150i for about 4,600 USD. Honda has a major share of the market, around 70%, due to its wide range of products. Yamaha comes next with less than half of Honda, 
despite the fact that they have a similar number of products. Typical new Vietnam motorbike price for 110 cc's range from 700 to 1,200 USD. For 125 cc ranges from 1,300 US to 2,500 US. For 150 cc ranges from 2,200 US to 4,000 US. For 250 cc ranges from 9,500 USD to 11,000 USD. Right, so there you have it, all the information you need and if you plan to live long term in Vietnam, then it's essential that you buy a motorbike or a car. But as always, we want to make sure that you get all the information you need. So make sure you like our Facebook page, subscribe to our YouTube channel, comment below your experience about riding a motorbike here in Vietnam. And also click on the bell for notifications for all our upcoming videos. So on behalf of Yung Global, my name is Ken Yung. Thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you on the next one. long-term solution <coughs> sorry make sure that you click on the link below which has a notification blah, blah, blah. sorry Big sorry sorry <laughs> and the third one is if you blah, what is the third one third one motorbike nation so as you can see behind me there are many motorbikes we're here on